Hi, y'all. It's me again, Jake from GD Honey Acres. I'm going to today work on building some deeps for these medium supers here. But before I get started in that, I need to go cut some firewood for my shop wood burner. I'm going to do it with this here uh, Steel MS250. Had her for quite a few years, and we're going to get the job done today. All right. Here's my tree pile. I'm going to get to cutting. How many of y'all cut firewood or whatnot but you may have noticed my saw might sound a little different because I ported my exhaust that exhaust mod the muffler mod I think it's made a huge difference this thing didn't even bog once cutting through everything and it's just going like a bat out of heck all right I'm gonna load this up and I'll be back in the shop all right like I said earlier, I was going to be making deep boxes to match my current medium supers. Now, this is your medium frame, and here's your deep. That's the reason I need to build some boxes, because I'm going to use deep boxes for my brood chambers. Now, what I did is I went ahead and measured and it's about a sixteenth less than 20 inches. Well, I can just go ahead and measure that and take it to my board and cut it and still hope I'm right. I don't know if I, any of you guys, but uh, my tape is a little twisted. So what I did, I took this board, it's a shorter piece. I know it's about two and a half feet long, or now about three feet long. And I butted it right up against this box here. This box. Butted against it. Took my little square. Butted that against the edge. Went ahead and made my lines. Alright. I'm going to get this set up to cut because it's going to be like my uh, template for the next three yeah, well, however many pieces I'm going to be able to cut out of this one board. So I'm hoping to get three boxes out of these two 1 by 12 by 10s. All right, let's get this cut. got six of these side pieces made. Now I need to make this side, which is short. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do basically the same thing that I did with the other. And I'm just gonna line this up in a corner, nice and flush. Like that. And then, my pen's over here, sorry. I'm gonna take Trusty old pen. I'm gonna make a line just like that. Sit this box over there. Where that line is, take my square and go right to the other side. And finish it off just like that. All right, let's cut it. Just like that, got my next template made for the other side. I'm gonna make five more of these and we'll start putting boxes together. All right, 
Now our next step is cutting these to height. So we're gonna be cutting them and making them shorter this way. So making the width of the board shorter, basically. So basically, let's sit here, let's go ahead and adjust this. So the door's just above, like that. We cut through, just gonna go ahead and push it right on through. Cut them. Let's do the first cut and then I'll cut the rest and I'll be back. Just like that. Nine and five eighths. I'm gonna cut that on every board and I'll be right back. Now the next part we're gonna do is we are going to set this blade to where it's basically halfway up. That should be the distance we need for these to sit in there. Now do this, when you got make the cuts, do it on the short boards if you're gonna do it like I am. I'm not doing dados by the way. I don't have the jig for it, and I don't have enough experience just to do it by hand or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and set my blade, and then we're going to go over and I'm going to set the rest of this up, and we're going to start cutting. See, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting a chunk out of right here, and you basically set your blade half an inch up, and then go in half an inch. So basically your distance here should be about nine and a quarter with your board right now is nine and five eighths so there you go we get this cut and this is going to look like on that first cut now we're going to flip it to where we're really close and run it right along there and do the rest of our cut I'll show you what that looks like in a minute all right so basically the fence is a quarter inch away from the blade and the blade is only up a quarter of an inch. That should work sufficiently to cut that little bit off and we'll have little and bitty strips. Then this is what you'll get. Nice little spot for your frame to sit on. Just like that. Isn't it wonderful? All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these boards and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, you can see I put the long board on here. I'm using my table saw to kind of help me out here. I don't have one of those 90 degree jigs for lumber for doing wood projects. What I am going to do is I'll kind of line these up. I'm using my brad nailer and I'll pop it. I'm going to do two. So I know it's there. Now one thing, don't ever put your fingers anywhere near where that nail could shoot out. Know how long your nail is and keep your fingers as far away from that as possible. Now what I'm gonna do, since I got wood glue in this joint, I'm gonna go pre, I'm gonna pre-drill probably a couple holes and run some screws in it. I'm not gonna use anything fancy. I'm just going to use what I have on hand, which I have probably like 10 pounds of drywall screws right now. So, let's go ahead and pre-drill our holes. The reason we pre-drill is because we don't want to split the board. Two holes pre-drilled, that should be more than enough so we can sink these screws in. Now pull it solid. Just 
like that. Oh, I love it. I'm going to drop this C clamp because I don't need that now. I'll run another screw in here in the bottom. It should look good. Now, so I've got those two in. I'm going to go ahead and do one more screw right in the centers. I did top and bottom there. Now let's do the center. Just like that. This will be great. into the point where they pull themselves into the wood and then they run flush. There we go. Those are in. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this. And I'll be back in a bit to show you. What I'm going to do next is I'm not just doing screws and a couple brad nails in this to help it for when I pick it up because I don't personally think that's strong enough. I'll be back with what I'm going to do. All right. Now that I got this box put together, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to finish this off. It involves this and a drill bit to match. I already pre-drilled holes. I'm going to basically do four on each end. I'm going to put wood glue on it, shove it in the hole, and saw it off flush. Pretty easy to do this one. I had this sitting by my wood stove, so it's not on fire, don't worry, it's just hot. That way I can coat it real good. I'm going in about a, all the way through this first board and about an inch or so in this next board. Just like that, she's in. Wipe off all that excess here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't put that much wood glue on. But now that it's in there, I can't find a regular wood saw, but I have a hacksaw. It works. Just like that. We got our dowel pin in. Nice wood glued secured. Three nails, two brad nails, and uh, two dowels in each side. Now I think this ought to be strong enough. I know dados are supposed to be much stronger. I don't have the experience to do it without a jig and I don't have a jig. I don't have the money for one right now. So I'm gonna finish doing this to all this. And then that'll be the box put together and we'll do another video later on on how to do either the cutouts or just put handles on it because these are going to be my broods. I'm not going to be lifting them up constantly. The only one I'll be moving them once. Yeah, so I'm pretty proud of this right now. Frame fits perfectly. Boom, just like that. Beautiful. That'll work great. All right, I'll be right back when I'm all done with this and I'll give a final review of everything, I guess. All right, so all in all, this really isn't that hard of a build. I was originally intimidated at first, you know, something I've never done, something I didn't really know I could get done with just my miter saw and a table saw, a couple brad nails, some screws, but I got it done, all right? Now, so you'll be able to make three of these deep boxes with two one by 12 by 10 footers. I got mine at Menards. Um, pretty easy actually. I mean, it's not that hard at all. Just follow what I did and you can get this done too. You don't need no fancy equipment. Don't need to buy a bunch of stuff. Just buy it yourself and put it, to, spend a little time to get it done and you'll be proud of your work. I mean, these are going to be your bees. You do what you can and uh, hopefully doing it yourself and watching this video can save you a little bit of money. 
I know it's saving me quite a bit of money. All right, now later on when I start putting my deep frames together, I got 100 to make. After I get these three boxes assembled, I still got seven to go. So we'll see how that goes. Catch y'all later. Hey, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I can see your guys' videos on what you're doing too. Because uh, normally if you subscribe, I'll check you out as well. All right, see you later.